situation never happened. You and Dad, I couldn't count how many times you said goodbye. And for that reason, this time shouldn't be any different. This time shouldn't be any different. I told myself, I'll see you again. Somewhere south of the equator, Dad, you'll be staring up at the same moon, so bright it might even reflect our images so we could see each other. But sadly, they don't make mirrors that big. And even if they did, I don't think I'd want to use them. Father, I could never call you a true father because you never measured up to that standard. That's why I always called you Dad. Just, in, just the right term for your bare minimum work in my life. So lost, I forgot you existed sometimes. I'm not angry. I'm just upset. Frustrated with you because you want me to be set at your departure and finish a Kleenex box in your memory. I don't hate you, Dad. I know you always told me I could tell you anything my beautiful mind came up with, but I can never hurt you like this, which is why you will never hear these words, Dad. You were never really there. A visit every two weeks with a measly meal barely qualifies for parenting. Just like my Glee Club shows, my band concerts, and my high school graduation, there was always an unoccupied seat with your name on it. So tell me, what do you tell an eight-year-old girl upset when she doesn't see her father's face in the crowd at her first piano recital? There are no words. I've heard all the excuses. And none of them made me feel better, any better, or made you look like a better parenting figure. I don't think you ever understood that I needed a father when all I found in you was a friend. Dad. I tried to dream up a better you, hoping that when dawn arrives to meet the day, you may have changed to be more caring, more considerate, more present in my life, but I'm constantly finding my hands full of disappointment. These eyes run dry. They have. For years now, and I've become near desensitized to the image of a bride walking down the aisle, arms linked with their fathers, because I know you won't have the honor of doing so at my own wedding. Dad, I'm not sick anymore. I don't wear pigtails, and I don't carry around my Mickey Mouse plush toys as a worn extension of me. Twenty only keeps getting closer. My adulthood only keeps getting closer, and all I see is you flying away. You always flew away, barely making it to your own daughter's birth. But I guess old habits die hard, right? Dad, next time you see me, I want to make you proud. But above anything else, I'm going to make you cry. Because I'm the young woman you never bothered to raise. Because even you, so my potentially young age, have never bothered to foster it with me. You and I have had a rocky road. But I'll come out shining, even though it was mostly without you. Ooh.